to uh, throw a little reverb on that clap, here's what I do up, soloing the clap. Now what I'm going to do is, since I have that track highlighted, I'm going to go over to that track in the channel strip, I'm going to go to where it says sends, and I'm going to hold down the first empty uh, square, and I'm going to go down to bus, and I'm going to go up to bus 1. All right, now what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, if you look to the right of that channel strip, uh, the second channel strip next to it will now be bus 1. That will be where I'm going to insert my reverb. So I'm going to go to the first insert, hold that down, go to a reverb. And I'm going to just pick any reverb just to show you. Go back to the, the uh, left channel strip that says bus 1 that's highlighted. And um, excuse me, I didn't open this all the way. Let me open this. There we go. All right, so the reverb's open. And go back to the, um, the channel strip that's still soloed all the way to the left right here. And I'm going to take uh, next to the bus one send, I'm going to um, just dial up just a little bit of reverb. Now I'm going to press play. A little bit less, a little bit more. Wait, you see, see what I'm doing right here? All right, cool. So right here, you have the um, platinum verb insert on bus one, as it says bus one. And you'll see how this corresponds to the mixer button. When I hit mixer, right now you'll see soloed your instrument one, and when you go all the way to the right, you'll see there's a platinum verb open on auxiliary channel one. All right, so let me close the mixer out, and we'll get more into depth with this later, but uh, this is just the basics. Also, let me uh, solo the hi-hat and do the same thing. I'm going to hit the send button once that track is uh, highlighted and soloed. Hit the send button. Bus one again because now it's a reverb setting. Add a little bit of reverb right here. Play it back. There we go. Nice. Cool. All right, let me unsolo that. Make sure everybody's unsoloed. Play it back. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna add in a little synth, synth line. I'm gonna go to INST2 or Instrument Channel 2. Click on that. I am going to go to uh, the first open insert. Hold that down. Let's find, um, excuse me, I'm in the wrong thing here. Let's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the setting button on instrument two, which is at the top. Hold that down. I'm going to go to synthesizers. And I'm going to go to synth lead. And I'm going to hit dominator, which is a pretty cool, uh, powerful sound, good for club, you know, urban club music. All right, so I open that up, hit my keyboard. bring the octave up on that. All right, let's hit record on that. You know, I'm really particular when I make my parts, but since we have a time limit on these videos, I'm kind of just throwing stuff together. Um, Usually I take a lot of, a lot more time when I'm making my tracks and making sure every note is right and, uh, you know, really, really working the part, really making sure it's the right part. But let me play that back now. I'm going to bring the volume down on that synth a little bit to fit it in the track. Let me play it back. Remember, I quantized it already. I pasted it out with the command R repeat function. Cool, so we got that, and that's a pretty cool repeating part. All right, so we went down to INST3. All right, I'm using basically Logic Instruments. Um, actually, in my MacBook, that's all I have loaded in here right now. Um, on my Mac Pro desktop, I have tons of external instruments, you know, um, uh, uh, plugins, etc. But um, right now, I'm just using what we have in the laptop to kind of show you that you can do so much with just the standard stock um instruments that come with logic and the effects but um all right let me see so 
We got that, we got that. Let's go to INST3, hold that down. Actually, go back to setting, hold setting down, and let's see what we should be looking for. Let's just grab a simple, uh, like a string, like a high string. All right, so hip hop strings is cool. Or we could do a pad, we could do. Or we could do. Let me do a high string. All right, here we go. That string is really loud. Let me bring that down. All right, let me quantize that. I'm gonna quantize that and I'm gonna repeat it now. 10 times. All right, cool. All right, cool. So we got a basic pattern going here. I showed you how to open up some instruments and um, how to add a little bit of reverb to some parts.